Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more Uma Musumi Pretty Derby. I think that is how you pronounce it. Um, it is the gacha game featuring horse girls made by Psy Games. It's fantastic, and it's also extremely hard to play because it's all in Japanese, and it's very complicated. So today's video is going to be about me playing some PvP. Um, what is PvP? I forgot that I completely forgot to finish this one, so let me just quickly finish this off. So I'm gonna go into the race. So this is how PvP works out, is that the horse girls you train, you can put into a big old team, and then they can kind of form together and fight other teams of horse girls. Um, and it seems like the AI just decides randomly which which position, because <laughs> some of these horses are built more for short races, and some of them are built more for long races. Um, as you can see here, these two horses, the reason I put these two together is because if one runs into a race the other can't do, then boom, it ends up working out pretty solidly. Um, you also don't have to watch all the races, but for the tense of this video, we are going to be watching these races, so let's get into it. Hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment, tell me if you've been playing Umumasumi. I assume there's plenty of people because I think it's still in first place, but I'm not sure how much the English fan base of there it is because it is extremely hard to kind of figure out how to do something. My, my good buddy Lurp has to play this game with a spreadsheet for the most optimal results because he just doesn't know what- <laughs> there's just so much in this game to know. So there you go, there's our fourth girl right there, Sakura. I think she's gonna end up being the one who gets this first place, I think. Ooh, not bad. Okay, so let's see. Uh, based on the strategy, we don't have to really worry about the current placement of the horses. Um, because really, in, if this is a long race, it won't be decided until near close to the end of it. Um, as you see, I'm also getting some points here, so obviously the better my horse girl does, the better for me. Uh, seventh place for her right now is perfectly fine. This is a long race, so I'd prefer her to kind of keep up with, um, she's perfectly fine in seventh. Well, let's actually look up top here, see how the kind of placements are. I mean, yeah, she's kind of somewhere in the middle there. That's perfectly fine. You don't want to be too far away from the first place people. Basically, you see where the 10 is? I think that's the current sweet spot to be around, but it's actually very hard to kind of maintain it. So we have only 600 um, miles left? I don't know what they call this, but whatever. Alright, another horse girl's doing perfectly fine. I wish I remembered all their names. <laughs> But um, I know this one's Sakura because I believe it's Sakura Supremacy, so Scarlet is one of them. Alright, it looks like she's kind of kind she's kind of kicking ass with no the real like <laughs> no one else in sight. Nice. And there she says the full name too, so if you actually pay attention, you can hear the announcer announce your horse girl. Sakura Bashino, I think? Very Subarashi, I know what that means, that's what Goku Black says. There's Scarlet. So she should give me the first place. Oh, third place! That's not bad, girl! That is not bad whatsoever. Let me see if I can remember your name right here. If I go into this, it will tell me your name. Hopefully this doesn't screw up with the video. Oh, it doesn't. Good. Winning Ticket is her name. <laughs> Good job, Winning Ticket. And Scarly came second. God, some of these horse girl names are so good. Okay, so here we have... I believe it is Haru and... Uh, let's go into it. Hmm, short race, so I think we should be able to do it perfectly fine. Let's see. That's the Taiku Shuttle. That's, that's the one. I don't know why it was, like, blanking on me right now. It shouldn't be Haru and Taiku and, uh, Shuttle. Taiku Shuttle, I think, is the full name, but... It's fine. We got it. Okay, let's see how our girls are kind of doing. Haru looks pretty good up top. Not bad. Taiku Shuttle looking not bad. Class 3. Team race. I also have the ability to get 3 on team, but I have not trained enough horse girls to get that. I should be... I should be training more though. 
Aw, oh, look at them. They're fucking pumped. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Sangara is for real. She's a one star, but she's one of the best units in the game, it looks like. Just because of how insane they built her. Alright, you got this, girls. I don't think you're gonna actually be able to win this one, unfortunately, but... We should be fine. Let's see how Haru does. It'll all be decided about how crazy in place Haru places. Because Haru currently has... Um... <laughs> 1,132 speed? She's an SS speed. She's extremely fast. But she's only really good in very short races. And in very specific terrain. If she's outside that terrain, she's a little bit worse. Damn, Sakura fucking gaining on us. I think Sakura might be able to overtake both of them, if I'm being honest. Alright, both of you girls, you got this. I believe in you both. Come on. Not bad. Nice. Nice. She should be able to go into first place with this, I think. No? She's still in third? She's- they're really on their ass. Second? First? Not bad. Aw, oh, damn, Haru. <laughs> I think she might have gotten a little bit sad about her placement here at the end, but third place is perfectly respectable. Nice! Yeah, Haru, again, Haru's really built for races that are only on very specific terrain, and her stamina is, like, super low. So let's see. I think she might have actually dipped down to fourth place, but I think for how good she did for the majority of that race, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Third place is perfectly fine for me. Nice. And I think we win this one. I can't remember how I did in the other two, but I think I win this one. Hey, We did it. And who is the MVP? Oh, Golden Ship. Nice. Thank you for the friend points. And I think if I click this, you can go back in here and you can kind of challenge anyone here, as you can see from right there. Let me go here. Yeah, I think we can do this one. Let's get into it. Just to show you how random it can be. So with this race specifically, we got Vodka and Golden Ship. Uh, versus just one Golden Ship. This is a long race too, so I think I'm just gonna... Actually, no. I guess I'm gonna go in. Yeah, we're gonna win this one. This one's gonna be no issue to really win. We'll consider this the last worst race, and then we'll I'll show you how to quickly go through the other ones. But yeah, this game's fun. There's no denying that training up your horse girls and then putting them in races against other people's horse girls is amazing and fun. Like, it's so, and the presentation is amazing. And of course, someone's home, so give me a sec. Alright, we're back into it. There's our vodka, good girl. Fantastic, golden ship. Yep, as she says here, gold ship. Again, I think gold ship will clutch in the win for us because their gold ship is just not on par. But we'll see how it does. Alright, alright. I think they're both both of the strategies are kind of staying in the middle of the pack for the beginning of the race because this race is very long. Yeah, it's a very long race, so I kind of tell them like, "Hey, hang back, it's fine." This race is like three thousand, so conserve your stamina for later. There's two golden ships, two ships passing at the night. Mm, overtake. Yeah, Vodka and Golden Ship, not too bad. Obviously, I think Golden Ship kind of clutches the win here, but Vodka ain't no slouch. That's why I put them together. It's the kind of the exact opposite of my um, putting some horses where one excels and the other one doesn't. These two excel in the exact same type of race, only on different terrain, I think. 
so it's easier for them to kind of like get buddy buddy with each other and kind of also blast ahead of the pack at the right time. So as you can see, like, it started with them being pretty far behind everyone, but now they're kind of catching up to everyone now. Slow and steady wins this kind of race. We're over halfway done with it, though. Come on, come on. Yeah, they're getting there. They're catching up on their ass. Only 1,000 left. Come on. Fifth. Not bad. Vodka's a little bit in the back now, but it's fine. She really kind of gets into her own near the end. Gold ship, damn! This is what happens when Terrain is on your side. She is completely just washing everyone else in the back. Vodka's making her way slowly, though. I think if Vodka can make it into fifth at least, that'd be nice. I don't think she will, but... No, no, she's no longer. The other golden ship is pretty- There you go, Vodka. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Make up some lost track. She goes very fucking fast, so let's see how she can make it at least fifth. Did she make it second? No fucking way. I'm gonna be happy, Vodka. You, if you got second, you got second. That's something worth being happy about. I wish I knew what these dudes were saying. Oh, this other one was golden shit. Dropkick! <laughs> Good job, girls. You did fantastic. So, this is what you can also deal with PvP, which is... See this next fight. Ha ha ha. Sakura wins regardless. This really helps if you have don't have a lot of time. El Condor Basu! She wins, because that's what she fucking does. All right, Shuttle and Haru. Victory! And Silence and Scarlet, I think they lose. <gasps> they fucking won. That's a clean sweep, boys and girls. Clean horse sweep. Let's see who got MVP for this. Really, Shuttle? Her race must have been amazing. It's a shame I had to skip it, but... That's the end of today's video, everyone. I'm gonna keep making videos for this game. I think it's gonna be mostly PvP, because training takes over 27 hours. It's so fucking long. Oh, but that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry, no concert today, because last time I got I did a concert, it completely screwed me over in terms of copyright. So until next time, everyone. Goodbye.